Hello my weasels, welcome back to the Game Cave. My name is Weasel Bandit and uh, today I will be playing a game that has been following me through like almost my entire life. It's a game that was developed all the way back to the Windows DOS system. But Tugger in Double Trouble. I remember playing this on my very first PC that I ever had and that PC had like 128 megabytes on the hard drive and I, I think it had I think it had like 64 megabytes of RAM or something like that it was it's a ridiculously long time ago but I liked this game back then and uh, I recently found it I found the CD on, on in one of my uh, in my cabinets or yep yeah, somewhere and I thought to myself I just I, I I had to play that. So I'm just gonna click start and then get a move on. I rem remember it was all. It was. Oh no! I'm just gonna watch this. <laughs> it's a nice phone. Pizza you like, a song, a smile, and an anchovy pizza. Ah, bud! It is finished! My greatest creation is complete! It most certainly is. Make haste to my laboratory with one of your special pizzas. Sure thing, Professor. I'll start grating the chocolate right away. <laughs> the chocolate? It's so long ago that I, I can't even remember most of the game, even though I played it like a hundred times over, but it was... Uh, I, I remember enjoying this. <laughs> No box I or anything. You are still using my multi-dimensional personal pocket transporter. Yeah, uh -huh. I still haven't found that elephant I put in there last week. Ah, teasing covers, nothing more. So, Prof, come on, where's this new invention of yours? All in good time, bud. Let me take the pizza. Wow. It looks great, Prof, but what does it do? Do? Watch this. Hey, that's impressive. You've invented a machine to destroy pizzas. Ah, bad. The demonstration is only half complete. It's a duplication machine. Precisely. But how? What? It's really quite simple, bud. You've heard of quantum theory? The indeterminacy effect? Whoa, Professor, spare me the physics. Just think of the possibilities. Well, you could solve the world's food problems. Double the number of pizzas baked in a day. Though, I'd have to be copied to deliver them all. I'm sorry, bud. But copying people just isn't possible. It seems to be something to do with brainwave patterns. Anyone copied would have no memory and would have to be taught everything again. Perhaps it's just as well. Imagine if someone copied Lady Prime Ministers. Uh, 
<laughs> oh yeah, I remember those guys. <laughs> ah, Professor, my dear chap. You really should be more careful. It was a most unfortunate mistake to use a public telephone line. Not the most secure means of communication. All one needs is a simple wiretap. Isn't that right, Egbert? Yeah, boss, it was real easy. All I needed to do was, uh... Shut up, Egbert! Shut up! Shut up! Shut, shut up! Shut up! This is my bit! Uh, uh, what is it you want with me? I have no money. Money? <laughs> I want more than money. I want power. Absolute power. Power over all those idiots who laughed at me. Mrs. Wimplethorpe, Jumbo Jenkinson, my mummy, and cats. I want all cats to be made illegal. Especially <laughs> white ones. You know, those ones with the long hair. The smug-looking ones. And your machine will give me that power. As one genius to another, I can only thank you effusively for delivering the means to complete my master plan. <laughs> Tasty. Egbert, please escort the professor to our secret headquarters. Norris, secure the machine. Big Al Strip Joint, starring Lola, CD Street, Barryville. I wonder if that's where they've taken the professor. I love that cat. There's only one way to find out. I've always thought I'd make great hero material. CD Street, Barryville, and step on it. Hey, this taxi's done 200,000 miles. Would you ask your grandma to run in the Olympics? This was so long ago that I played this that I didn't even speak English well enough to know that this was actually saying part one. I thought it was the name of the company who made it, at, that they were called Paton, Patona or something like that. So, and, and that just goes to show how much fun a child can have with a computer game where you don't even understand the words part one. And then play an, a, a game where everything has to do with something where you have to talk English and be able to read and and yeah and speak English. So yeah, great. <clears throat> so I remember this. This this is the this uh, this hotel room. I never understood quite why you went into a hotel room. Why what that had to do with anything? But yeah, yeah. Let's uh, talk to the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to... Oh, there's someone in there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Open hotel rules. As well, I have the brains and you have the looks. Uh, ah, look at... Okay. Let's see. Look at hotel rules. Hotel rules. Let's see. No jelly juggling after midnight. Oh, no. okay. Walk to draw and open that. And the book. Pick up book. The Gideon Book of Fish. There's one in every hotel room. 
Of course. So yeah, I I remember that this uh, this place was even just this room was so hard to find a way out of. But yeah, well, I uh, I guess that uh, that's partly because I didn't speak the language very well. But uh, yeah, great. So I don't think that there's anything else that we need to pick up in this room. So now we need to get out of the window. Because apparently we can't use the door. It just won't open. Yeah. And the window is stuck, so what do you do? Naturally, you do you use the soap with the window. Yep, and Hey, it looks cleaner already. Huh. But now you can open it. And I think that's go. I, I remember playing this game and so, like so many times where I didn't even get out out of this room, I just keep kept going in. Yeah, so walk to gap. Oh, I'm going to the gap. Yeah, there are some records there. Hello. Billy G's sounds of the seventies. Cool. Yep. And some blue thing. It's all coming coming back to me. Hello. Yo, Mr. Pastry, how's it going? Hey, it's a pizza-faced kid. I'm looking for my friend, the professor. Oh, I don't need to talk here. He, he talks for me. I'm looking for my friend, Yay. the professor. Have you tried the Department of Missing Persons or the Yellow Pages? The Dog Pound? The Dog Pound? Yeah, you'd be surprised at what turns up there. <laughs> Look. Have you seen the professor? Holder of the university chair, university teacher of high rank, one who makes profession of religion, that sort of professor? No, an eccentric professor from Muddy Creek. Ah, oh, you mean the professor? You've seen him? No. <laughs> Alright, let's get up to the CD street. Hi there, Mr. Shifty. How you doing? Mr. Shifty? The name's Tony, kid, and don't you forget it. What you doing out here? I'm a street salesman, kid. You wanna buy something? That depends. Depends on what? On what you're selling. I sell it all, kid. So, what you got? Apples, pears, ugly brown bears, dice, lice, blind mice, Boats, flies, pies and ties, coats, floats. I even sell goats. I got it all, kid. What do you want? I'm not quite sure. I'll have a think about it. You know where I am if you need anything. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the only place we actually can go to right now is the city streets. So I'm, I guess we'll just stay here. Yeah. Great, and I remember that we need to go in here to find Lola. Hi, big guy. How's it hanging? Big guy? My name's Vera. Vera? That's a girl's name, isn't it? If it was good enough for my mother, it's good enough for me. Huh. Can you tell me anything about Lola? What does boy want to know? <laughs> what does boy want to know? Does boy have a name? A girl has no name. A man has no name. <laughs> um, hmm. Is she working tonight? Is she working tonight? Lola work every night. People like Lola's act. Do you think she would see me after her show? Lola like real men, not a little boy. <laughs> All the more reason she should talk to me. Huh. Boy make good joke. Vera like boy's joke. Shame Vera not like boy. <laughs> Thanks for the abuse. I got a split. So I need to get in there. Hi Vera, how's tricks? Vera only know one trick. Called disappearing boy trick. <laughs> boy annoy Vera. Vera show him trick. Right. So have you? Yeah. Have you seen my friend, the professor? 
boy like you have a friend? <laughs> oh, I like the I, I like I like the, the 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 humor in this game so much. Yeah, I'm so popular, it's untrue. Huh. Vera thought boy tells lies. Honest, I'd swear on a stack of Bibles. Swearing very bad. <laughs> Swearing at Bible a very, very bad. <laughs> um, look, gotta go. I got a three-minute egg on the boil. Yeah, come on, I, I need to it's get in there. not my type. <laughs> hey, Vera, how's tricks? Vera only know one trick. Called disappearing boy trick. Boy annoy Vera. Vera show him trick. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Yeah. So, is this where the action takes place? Yeah. Action for members only. So, how do I become a member? Vera need blood sample. <laughs> ha! But I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Boy witness kicking backside if you not stop asking <laughs> questions. Surely there's another way I can get in. Fire exit blocked. Maybe boy make Vera laugh with funny joke. Vera like jokes. Hmm. Okay. How do you make an elephant fly? Start with a three foot zip. Okay, so it's a little old. But then again, so are <laughs> you. Vera's still not laughing. Is there anything that does make you happy? Vera want to see nice tie. Then he let boy in club. What sort of tie do I need? Vera want to see nice, pretty tie. Vera like pretty ties. No problem. <laughs> I'll be back. See boy later. With nice, pretty tie. Yep. So now we know how to get in, at least. I knew that, but I wanted to... I think he actually needs to talk to him and find out, find that out before he can ask... Shifty Spiff. Hi, Tony, what's cooking? Hey. Cut off his legs and call him Shorty. It's the low-down bum again. <laughs> I'm looking for a buddy of mine. It says medium on my shorts, but I'm no psychic. What's he look like? Well, a bit like a professor. Yeah, which bit looks like a professor? Huh? Hey, man, this is a matter of life and death. Have you seen him? Kid, I see all sorts around here. You got any unusual features? Um. Yeah, this is going nowhere, so I'm just Whoa, gonna the time? stop Not talking with him. I need to talk to I him again about what cooking. he is selling. Cut off his legs and call him Shorty. It's the low down bum again. What you doing out here? I'm a street salesman, kid. You wanna buy something? I'm looking for a nice tie. Ties, I got ties. Great, I'll take one. Slow down, kid. I'm gonna need some of that folding stuff. What's the price of your ties? I'm having a one-day sale, so let's say $1,312.28 plus tie tax. Can I pay by installments? Yeah, I got an easy to pay single installment <laughs> scheme. Would you consider part exchange? Part exchange? Yeah, sure. I'll exchange a tie for a little gold bullion. A couple of tons of diamonds, maybe. A few thousand Krugerrands. You must have something I can afford. Look, kid, I'm a little hungry. Get me something to eat and we'll see. So, what do you want to eat? I give my right arm for a sticky bun. <laughs> Where's the best place? Where's the best place to get a sticky bun? How about a sticky bun shop? Don't tell me you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> yeah, so I need to go in here. But I also need matches before I go in there. Oh, I've got matches, so that's great. And, of course, you can see... A little later why I need matches.
So, the problem is that uh, I can't really do much in here. Cake of soap? Blah. Yeah, I can't really do much in here. Uh, and I can't get into uh, to the, the, the... Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Walk to the alleyway! Yeah, I can't get in there because the baker is in the way and I need to get in there. Because apparently you can't buy sticky buns, but you can take them from the baker's kitchen. Yeah. So, uh, matches from Big Al's bar. yeah. so I'm just gonna use the matches with the smoke alarm. And now the path is clear. Yep. And we'll just go to the alleyway again. And now we can get in. He can get in here because we don't. Well, of course, we don't have any money, so we can just steal what we need. All right. And I guess that was that. I don't think there's anything else we need in here. So now that we've got this, we can go to Shifty Spiff or Tony, and we can give him the sticky bun. Hey, dinner is served. Here's the bun you wanted. About time, too. You're not exactly fast food. <laughs> Here you are, a Polynesian polka dot. It matches your face. Yeah, sure. And that bag of nuts and bolts you've got matches yours. <laughs> right. So I, I can't remember if there's anything we can do in here now that the... Yeah, he's eating sticky bun after sticky bun. Yeah, it's just... No, let's just keep away from him. So, Vera, we've got a tie. We've got a tie. Hey, Vera, I've got the tie you wanted. Polynesian polka dot. Vera like nice pretty tie. Vera let boy you clap for such nice pretty tie. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, now that we are in the club, I think that I would like to stay here until the next episode. Let's just... Uh... Save there. Okay. I don't know if it's, if it's saving, but yeah. I'm gonna look into that after I've stopped the video. But thank you for being at the game, game Cave, guys. I hope that you like this game. This is... Uh, like the, the deepest of nostalgia that you can bring me. This is awesome. I like it. I will enjoy playing this game very, very much. I hope that you'll enjoy it too. So, yeah, there's not much to say, but thank you for being here. My name is Weasel Bandit. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.